and it's going to hit and be picked up by Kennewick. Man at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, out of bounds, down on the two-yard line goes Phil Eby, 155-pound sophomore. As he picked up the block punt and raced it all the way down to the Bulldog one-yard line. A rush 10, and only kept one back as a safety. And the punt was blocked. Comes with 11.49 to go here in the first half. That was the first play of the second quarter. Kennewick first and goal at the Bulldog one. And the Bulldogs look a little frustrated to say the least. And Kennewick comes out with split back. Uh, wait a minute. Quarterback Scott Conley going to call for a timeout. Timeout on the field with 11.48 to go in the first quarter and the score. Kennewick 28, pass go nothing. Here's Kurt Gowdy, experienced outdoors but notice things a novice misses. That's why so many American sportsmen wear red wing Irish setter boots. Some things are obvious, like the full grain water repellent leather. Others are hidden, like the ground cork compound under the insole that fits like a footprint in wet sand. In red wing Irish setters, you'll never be a tenderfoot. <laughs> Pasco Clothing for 15 West Lewis in Pasco. Well, a crowd of about 5,000 on hand uh, for homecoming here at uh, KHS Stadium in Kennewick, and about 3,500 or 4,000 of them are very happy at this time as Kennewick is leading 28 to nothing with still 11 minutes, 48 seconds to go in the second quarter. Kennewick has scored every time it has had the football. Neil Palmer has scored three touchdowns on runs of 23, 37, and 48 yards. And uh, Scott Conley, I believe, is still running the team at quarterback as Foreman was in for that one series. But no, Conley's on the, on the sideline now, and it is Foreman in there. John Foreman running the club at quarterback, and he sends Mark Pickle wide to the left, and Eddie Pacheco flanked to the right side. Still Palmer and Banker. Quarterback sneak, touchdown, John Foreman. A one-yard quarterback sneak by Foreman. And the score is 34 to nothing. Just 14 seconds into the second quarter. 34 to nothing as Foreman sneaks for the touchdown on Foreman's first carry of the football game. And it's Christensen, excuse me, Buckingham on to try the extra point out of Conley's hole. Waiting for the snap. High pass from center. It's a fake. No, wait a minute. M a whistle's down. Somebody is guilty. And if it's uh, the way the game's been going, it's going to be against Pasco. You betcha. Well, the Bulldogs will be penalized half the distance to the goal for encroachment of the line of scrimmage. And the ball will be taken to the Pasco one-and-a-half yard line. And <laughs> Kennewick will get an opportunity. And at that time, Kennewick must be a little angry tonight. I see him going for all the marbles here now as they're ahead 34 to nothing and they try to roll out to go for two points. Waiting for the snap from center. Ball is on the tee. This one is kicked and it's up and it's good. Timeout on the field with 11.46 to go in the second quarter. It's Kennewick 35 and Pasco nothing. Modern Mechanics in Pasco has built a reputation of being kind of like a family doctor, taking care of cars and trucks for people in this area for a long time. Modern Mechanics has been giving family vehicles that special touch to keep them running better longer. Larry Lee and his staff have built their reputation of quality and dependability through the years with honesty and reliability. The very best of their service and repair knowledge goes into every job they do. Modern Mechanics, Road 28 and West Sylvester in Pasco. Well, Kennewick uh, doesn't get the extra point as they were guilty of some infraction here. We'll have to do it all over as referee George Mulligan will mark off the penalty. The officials for tonight's game, the referee is George Mulligan. Bob Cassidy is the umpire. Dwayne Moe is the head linesman. And Tim Jacobson is the field judge. And the 15 yard, it's a 15-yard penalty. Takes the ball out to the 17-and-a-half-yard line. 17-yard line. Around there, 16-and-a-half, whatever. And let's see if Kennewick is going to kick it from here. Well... Buckingham's going to put the tee down right around the 23-yard line, so it'll make the 33-yard extra point. Kennewick leads by a score of 34 to nothing. And out of the huddle they come. Kevin O'Neill up over the ball at center. Bill Miller, Bob Stout on the right side. And to hold the ball will be Scott Conley. Let's see if Christensen can drill this one through. 
And a marker flies already. And who's this one going to go against? Boy, this is the third marker we've had on this uh, try for point now. This one's going to go against Kennewick. And let's see what it's going to go against them for. Um, improper equipment that time. It must have been somebody didn't have his mouthpiece in some player, so illegal equipment. We're going to take the ball back to the 22-yard line. And so Christensen kicks it on. Christensen comes off the field now, and they're going to run it. And apparently out of his range, he'd have to kick about a 39-yard extra point. And they put in three wide receivers. It is uh, Darren Young wide right, Gordon Hudson split right, and it is John Foreman calling the play. Split backs, or rather Conley, and Conley looks deep, and he throws long for Hudson, and the ball is knocked away by Willie Sims, and the extra point fails. 11.46 to go in the second quarter, and a timeout on the field with a score. Kennewick 34, pass go nothing. Northlight Studios welcomes the class of 1980 with the new contemporary look in senior portraits at specially reduced prices. In addition, we're offering something new and exciting, a giant black and white photo poster for the big look. Ask our representative in your school to show you a sample or stop by one of our studios. Northlight Studios in Pasco and Kennewick. Well, it's been a difficult year for the Bulldogs, to say the least, and it uh, looks like this game is going to cap it off uh, in the worst possible way. Worst loss Pasco has suffered this year was a 29 to nothing shutout at the hands of Wenatchee. That was during the strike when they were coached by administrators. And they lost 29 nothing to Wenatchee, previously 25 to nothing to uh, Richland. Since that time, they've uh, been in every game, but they are certainly not in this one. We are barely into the second quarter, and the score is 34 to nothing, Kennewick. And it is Steve Buckingham to kick off for Kennewick, or so it looks. Joey Christensen right with him, though. We'll wait and see. Pasco has three receivers deep, and it is Buckingham who kicks it. High end over end. Ball is taken by one of the up men, Palmer, uh, Palomero. He fumbled the ball. The ball is picked up by Davis, and he's going to be shut down in his own 23 or 4 yard line. So that's where the Bulldogs will take over. First down, 10 yards to go on their own 24. As Kennewick leads by a score of 34 to nothing. Still carry Fink running the team at quarterback. Ken Bradley comes out of there now. He's been a running at the guard position there, but he comes out of the ball game. Mark Davis is out. Rossiter is in. And Palomares. Slot right, split end right. High formation behind the quarterback, Kerry Fink. It is Geyer and Humphrey, the setbacks. Fink calls the play, steps back to throw, over the middle man there, Palmeiras drops the ball at the 35-yard uh, line. Good throw by Fink, but uh, Palmeiras just dropped the ball, Joe Palmeiras. 11.35 to go, and the clock stops on the incomplete pass. It's second down, 10 yards to go, Bulldogs to their own 24-yard line. So, for Fink now, it's his first pass attempt of the night, although the Bulldogs have thrown it on two other occasions. The Bull they have yet to complete one. Fink calls the play in the huddle, steps out of there. Bulldogs to the line of scrimmage, Ellenberger. And Kenny Wells now at that left side. And Fink calls the play. Power eye formation. Cloy on the tail of the tandem there. Big shift by Kennewick to the left side. They give us to Cloy, and he's tackled. Calls forward for a yard gain. Good stack up that time at, for the Kennewick Lions. Coming in there to hit for Kennewick was Paul Johnston, the nose guard. Ball over the 25, about a yard gain, just over the 25. Yard line is where Harold Cloy, excuse me, Rex Cloy took the football. Second down and, excuse me, third down and nine. They had the incomplete pass on first down. Clock is running with nearing the 11 minute mark to go in the second quarter. Kennewick leads 34 to nothing. Fink calls the play with an eye formation behind him. Wide bend to the left, looks, fires over the middle, and the ball is incomplete and almost intercepted. Man had his hands on it there for the Kennewick Lions trying to pick up his number. And it looks like it may have been, uh, well, let's see.